Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today I have some very exciting news. And it has to do with MicroCap. And the title you can tell of the video, right? There's an update. That's awesome. Okay, I want to give you a little background for those that maybe don't know what MicroCap is or, or what I'm talking about. MicroCap's a program that was written by SpectrumSoft. It's a spice simulation by, you know, built around Berkeley Spice. It's arguably, even still, one of the best programs on the market. It just is. Top several at least, right? So I announced that back in December. I was away on holiday back east and visiting family and had some time off my busy job. <laughs> and, you know, and, I'm, and I just stumbled upon it. A program that was selling for $4,700 was free. I'm like, holy cow. And I, I quickly went to the website to see if I could still get it. Because the notice I found was dated back in July of last year, 2019. July 4th, a holiday here in the States. The guy retired, from what I understand, after 30 years. He started the business 30 years on the same month. I guess he just decided, hey, it's done well for him. He's going to share it for free with his uh, with his people. <laughs> I just think that's so cool. Well, I love it because I love the program. I used to own it back in the day. I was a consultant, and I needed the good spice program, so I, you know, spent the money. It wasn't near as expensive. It wasn't forty-seven hundred bucks, but and I couldn't really afford it. As years went on so I didn't have it but now it's free heck yes so I now sat on my holiday back east I was in New York I live here in Utah so I it and uh, our family there they have a really nice neat old house and they have this little room on top and it's like you can watch the well a lot of history on, on that house but it's just really cool room I was in. I was up there making videos on microcap. <laughs> so it was fun. Um, so I was working on my holiday. Come on, guys. But I got some thumbs down on that video. I'm like, I'm telling people how to get free software. How come I got thumbs down? But I think there's some loyalists to some other free programs. Uh, one in particular, I think, because of some of the comments I got. And so I think people gave the video a thumbs down. Which, by the way, guys, that means you don't like the video, not that you don't like the product, you know. Um, so if I do a review, sometimes I get thumbs down on reviews, too. And and I think it's because people don't like the product. But what that means to YouTube is you don't like the video. So if you like the video, thumbs up really helps YouTube analytics. Anyway, enough of that stuff. So I did that video and I really recommend people downloading this program. Well, I think some people didn't want to get into it because it's not going to be supported. Maybe Windows will be updated and it just won't work as well or whatever. But I won't worry about any of that stuff, guys. Windows is a very mature product. I think whatever programs today work are going to work for at least some years down the road. And this program is so mature. It's got, I think, 33,000 parts in the library. I saw it was in one of their brochures at one point, so it's probably even more than that now. I'm sure it is. The library of circuits, the example of circuits, is huge. There's some very good authors uh, that have written books, that have built models that they've given to... Uh, they probably got the software for free in exchange for giving them library parts I don't know I'm just guessing anyway so it's got a great library and it's like I said very mature Monte Carlo analysis worst case analysis sensitivity analysis it even does a smoke test thing where it'll show you parts that are getting heated up it's just so many cool things about it and if you don't have a lab or even if you do have a lab it's a great way to correlate your test results with simulation um, it's just, and it's fun. <laughs> if you've never used a SPICE program, I've got 
a playlist. I think I have nine videos in it right now. I'm going to have the link down below. As a matter of fact, I was going to do a video today. And then, as I called it the program, it said, hey, I have a software update. And I thought, oh, criminy. It, you know, I thought it was corrupt. I thought, there's no way. The, the company's out of business. Well, uh, so... <laughs> So the way it works is you just say, okay, and you hit a button and software takes care of itself and it updates itself. Very easy. Well, I didn't trust it because I thought it's probably corrupt or maybe it's corrupt. I don't know. I was being hopeful though. So I went to the website uh, and looked and sure enough, there's an update dated September 2020. That, that just blew me away. And while I was there, I noticed that the last update, and I don't know if I mentioned this or if I realized this when I did the uh, video in December, you know, telling everybody that there's free software. I don't know if I noticed it, but September last year, there was an update. That means there's been two free updates since they've closed their doors. That's nuts. All right, here's something else that's nuts. A couple months ago, I sent an email to tech support <laughs> to a company that's closed their doors. Well, I did it because I I thought, well, you know, maybe the guy's home bored and maybe he's going to answer some questions. <laughs> but I have to, you know, I really expected the email to bounce back. But since the website's still open and you can still download stuff, I thought, well, maybe. And sure enough, I didn't get a bounce back email. I got a response and an answer to my question. So I got free tech support. Now I've got two updates on software I got for free, $4,700. I didn't have to pay and I'm loving it. <laughs> so I hope you guys love it too. And check the video out in case you don't. So this is in a way is a tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to update your software. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to check that box to get notified if there is another update. Okay, and I, I had checked that box just because I thought, well, you know, you never know, and you never know. It's just amazing. Some people are awesome. Thank you, Spectrum Soft. I don't know the guy's name. If you guys do, let me know. I mean, amazing. Thank you for the free software. All right, guys, let's open up the application. This is pretty darn amazing. It was a shock to me to see this window come up. And I have this right here check for auto check for updates. Okay, I'm going to close this window just to show you why that came up. Because right down here under help, Come down here and see this check for updates. Click on that and then check that box because we might get surprised again. Now it says update available, but I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to check all these just in case there's anything there to update. So this is just amazing. Look, 1202.03, 1202.04. So let's go ahead. When I first saw this, look, let me just show you something real quick. I wasn't sure what I was saying. I thought maybe, I thought for some reason my application was messed up. So I came up here and, and I typed in microcap update just to see. And it came over here to microcap. See this is Spectrum software. Right here, you can see this. So then I came down here, and sure enough, look at that, 9-22-2020. So what I recommend is saving these to a folder somewhere, just in case this is the last update. And look, if you notice this, the size of these files has changed. In these cases, they're much larger. So I recommend saving all these files I think this CD file right here, 58 meg, contains all these other files. So if you can't download the large file, 
I think uh, I had one uh, guy that uh, told me that he had trouble with that. So go ahead and download these other ones. But look, the last one was, you know, just about this time, the end of the year of 2019. Now, he actually started giving it away, and I think it was the seventh month. So, you know, in July, which I think completed, uh, look at this, 1997 microcap 5. And anyway, after I think it was 30 years on the same month, they closed up shop. But I guess not because even this update came after that. See this one down here? This was actually the last one. Uh, before it became free. And then there's two updates since it's been free, it looks like. So that's pretty amazing. So I went, I'm gonna go ahead and do this for the first time with you guys. I mean, with this update. So begin download. And you can see all these files been updated. A bunch of those were library files. Now, I don't know if anything is actually updated in the library or if it's just going through the routine. That is crazy. And here we are, the tip of the day, which you can turn off again by checking this box. But I think it's worth leaving on, just get reminded. Even now, even some of the, there's lots of things that I don't even know on this that it comes up and tells me. Some things I do know, but it's nice to be reminded. So I think that's worth leaving on. So anyway, let's just close this, and there we go. Pretty darn cool. Now let's come up to here, and, and let's come down to my, about microcap, and let's click on that, and look, sure enough, 2.04, 2020, I got the latest update. That is so cool, guys. Hey, guys. So, yeah, pretty easy to update, right? But it's. I think it's also important to go to the actual website and download the program and the manual and all that kind of stuff. Just download them and, and uh, save them on disk just for backup. I mean, yeah, it's such valuable program. I highly recommend doing that. Okay, uh, give a thumbs up to the video if you like it, guys. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I'll do a tutorial very soon. <laughs>